Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you the best XP glitch on Black Ops 4 Zombies. You can easily do a couple hundred levels in a few hours doing this glitch. Uh, it is AFKable if you have a strike pack. Um, and if you haven't already hit max prestige, you can go through a prestige in about an hour and a half or two hours. Um, right now on this account, I'm not yet max prestige, which you will see here in a second. But it's a really easy glitch. You don't need any elixirs. All you need is the correct perks. So here are the perks that you need. Uh, it's very important that you use Stone Cold Stronghold in your modifier tonic. And you're also going to need Ethereal Razor, Winter's Whale, and Dying Wish. And that's it. It doesn't matter if you use elixirs. It doesn't matter what special weapon or equipment or starting weapon you have. All you need is these perks right here. And make sure you have Stronghold in your modifier slot. Alright, so if you're familiar with this map, the setup's going to be really easy. But if you're not familiar with this map, for each step in the setup, I've included links to the tutorials in the description of this video. As you just saw there, the first step is going to go ahead and be get the Tomahawk. Once you have the Tomahawk, you're going to use that to unlock the Blunt Dergat. Once you have the Blunder Gat, you're going to go ahead and upgrade it to the Magma Gat in the oven. Once you have the Magma Gat upgraded, you're going to go ahead and get the Spoon from the Crane. Once you have the Spoon, you're going to go ahead and upgrade the Spoon to the Golden Spork. Now, once you have the Golden Spork, you're ready to start the glitch. So you want to go over here to the Warden's office, unlock this little jail cell here with this Acid Gat piece in it. Uh, wait until your tonic kicks in, your, str your stronghold with the circle, and sit on the edge of the circle right next to the candles. And you just sit here and melee. And you can sit here and melee for a hundred rounds. Now, like I said earlier, this is AFKable, but only if you have a strike pack. I have a strike pack for my PlayStation 4 controller. So what you can do with the strike pack is uh, bind, or make your paddle action rapid fire. So if you bind uh, melee to your right paddle and then you rubber band your right paddle, it's just gonna rapid fire melee and you can just leave it overnight. Now, if you don't have a strike pack, you're going to have to sit here and melee. I know it kind of sucks. It's not AFKable if you don't have a strike pack, but I'm telling you, it's worth it. In a couple hours, especially on double XP, you'll gain probably 300 levels. Uh, if you're not max prestige yet, like I'm not on this account, then you'll go through 55 levels in an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And yeah, that's the entire glitch. It's really easy and basic to set up. Um, once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to set it up in 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and just sit here and just grind the levels. Now it's really good because meleeing on this game gives you a lot more XP than regular kills, so even the Ragnarok glitches don't level you up this fast. And that's it for the tutorial. I hope you guys liked. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments, and I will try to answer every single comment. Other than that, subscribe if you liked it. And yeah, that's it. See you next time. Peace.